Yo, what's up? It's IRL Skulls and VTuber Skulls. In this video today, I'm going to show you guys how you can use your camera as a webcam, but also use it for face tracking with your VTuber software. Now the reason that I'm making this video is because I've seen a ton of videos about um, setting up your camera and setting up your software as a VTuber. And one of the main things that people say in those videos is that you can't use your camera on the VTuber software and capture the webcam on your stream software. While that's correct, I'm here to show you a little loophole where you can use your camera for both. Like I'm doing right now. I did this live on my birthday stream. I didn't talk too much about how I did it, um, but I did show it off during my live stream. Now I'm doing this using only one camera. I did want to go ahead and make that disclaimer because I do have two cameras. I have three, but one works when it feels like it. Um, I have the one that I use for uh, kitty cam and it's a completely different camera. This process that I'm showing you is with one camera only. I'll have a link down below with information about the camera that I use for face tracking. The first thing you need is a program called Snap Camera. And Snap Camera is made by the same people who make Snapchat. It's a program on your computer to give you the same like fun effects and things like that that you can get on Snapchat. Now I do want to warn you it does use a little bit of CPU if you use effects but if you use just the camera by itself then you should be good to go when you're setting up snap cam make sure it's the camera that you use as your main camera um, i know most people don't have two cameras but just in case you do whatever your face camera is should be what is selected here the resolution that goes with it um, if you're doing face tracking you can keep it at uh, 1280 by 720 you don't need it to be super high quality for that um, if you're using the camera itself, you can change it. And depending on the camera you have, you'll have more options. Now, as far as the microphone, I usually recommend keeping this as something separate, whether you set it as a camera microphone or something that you're not using. Sometimes when you open this first, the microphone only registers to this and it won't work in your stream software. So if you ever see that happen, just know swap the microphone to something you don't use like your camera microphone or plug in some headphones and make it that no one's going to hear what's coming from snap cam so don't worry about that too much the next thing you want to do is open up your stream software so i use vtube studio all right now i've got vtube studio open so as far as the camera goes you want it set to snap cam. You don't want it set as the same camera you linked to snap cam. You want this to say that it's using snap cam. So go ahead, snap camera, boom, whatever settings you have, it should match what you selected in the app. And um, turn the camera on to warm it up. You're gonna move your face and talk a little bit and bam, look. Now we have the same movements, we have the same motions, and I have this camera up. So now let's move on to the stream software. So basically, we're gonna add video capture device. I already have it set up as snap cam, okay? Now when you look at the details of that, make sure it does say snap camera for this and your um, VTuber software. If you have a second camera, this is a lot easier because you can set up a second camera, but most people don't have two cameras. So um, I thought this would be a very good way to show people that there is a way that you can do this. Now I do advise doing it in this order. The reason I say that is because if you open up your stream software first, it automatically registers your camera. You want to go snap camera and then your VTuber software and then your stream software in that order. Well, thank you so much for watching my video. I hope it was really helpful to you. Um, if you wanna do the same thing with the 3D model, I use programs like VC Face and V Magic Mirror. 
You'll do the same thing. You'll set those programs up to be linked to Snapcam, not your main camera. If you have any questions, feel free to comment and I will answer them as much as I can. <laughs> I haven't seen anyone post a video about doing something like this and I'm surprised that this hasn't already been used more. I really hope to see VTubers do really creative stuff with this and have a lot more IRL content mixed with their VTubing content. I'm gonna leave some links below. I'll leave a link to the camera that I currently use, um, a link to the software that I use for my VTuber avatars, a link to Snapcam so you guys can go ahead and download that. It's just cool to have in general, even if you don't do this, if you do any kind of IRL content or even video chat with your friends, it's really fun. I'm also gonna leave some goals down below. As you guys can see, my um, headset is broken. I just bought this headset a few months ago and it's falling apart in my hands for some reason. So I do have a wish list down below that has the headset um, I am looking towards getting. I also do have a link where you guys can donate to me. It's not necessary, but if you guys take a look, I'd really appreciate you just glancing at it. Merch will also be down there as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. Sayonara.